the boho liquid gold is a game changer friend like So welcome back to part two of my 30 inch install and in making video okay so if you've seen part one you saw how I made my 30 inch video uh, my 30 inch video my 30 inch wig from Julia's hair they did send me this hair to try out and you guys know I've worked with this company numerous of times so they are not new to me so we're gonna go right into the install I'm gonna take my got to be glue in the black tube and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my edges and brush them back just to get them out the way and um this is just going to help me like i just don't want my hair all over the place underneath this stocking cap so i am going to pull the stocking cap down and cut my ears out so i can go ahead and mold the cap down now as you guys saw in the beginning of this video i did use bold hole liquid gold that is a new product from the hair diagram a new um adhesive but it's not really an adhesive and it's not really a glue it's it's like a I don't know what to call it. It's like I, I, I don't know what to call it. It's just greatness. It's a new product, and I'm going to use that to adhere my wig. They do claim that you can use this to adhere your stocking cap, um, to gel down your edges, um, to lay your wig, to do your baby hair. So this is a multi multi-purpose multi product. So I'm going to use it to gel down my stocking cap. And as you guys know, I like to follow my... Um, hairline because I don't have a lot of forehead space to work with when it comes to a lace frontal so I like to set my wigs directly on my hairline which makes this product a very um, convenient product for me because um, it does not pull out your edges it's oh, it's edges safe okay so you could put this directly on your hair and you will not have any issues of you know pulling or anything out like that but you need to make sure that your wig is the right size for you I cannot stress that enough you do not want a too big of a wig and you do not want a too small of a wig because if your wig is too big or too small you will have pulling and you will have sliding so just make sure that your wig fits you perfectly all right so I'm, I'm going to put this on and go, proceed with my insaw. Okay, so um, get this out of my way. I used the liquid gold from Boho, and this is supposed to be like an alternative to your got to be glues or your gels or your um, holding sprays and stuff like that. This is a everyday glue that you use every day. It is gentle on your edges. So you saw me apply it liberally to like my hairline like I would normally do with my got to be glue, all right? Um, so she does, the owner of Bold Hole does say that you can use this to apply your cap, which I did. I'm waiting for it to completely dry before I even cut anything off. Um, as of right now, I probably put a little bit, bit too much on, but I did notice around this section, like I was rubbing it too much, so it does turn white. So you might want to um, be gentle how you apply this on yourself because if you continuously rub it a lot, it will turn white. It's, it's not too runny, but it is runny, so um, we're just going to see how this applies. So I will come back on camera once everything is dry, and we will continue to do the install with my, my um, Julia's hair. And I am wearing 30 inches, and that's a frontal, and we got four bundles in there, and she is thickety thick, thick, thick. All right, friends? So I will be back. So I'm going to take my eyebrow razors that I get from Amazon and if you want the link you can find that down in the description box and I'm just going to go out and kind of like trace my hairline because I am going to carve my hairline out like I just need it to be perfect okay so I'm going to go take that and I'm going to just cut off the excessive cap and then we're going to go ahead and apply the wig. Thank <laughs> you. 
You guys, this is the first time I've ever had 30 inch hair and I was kind of overwhelmed, but it was cute. So I'm not gonna lie, I, I wore it for a long time. I'm gonna take my Ruby Kisses in the shade 16. I like mine a tad darker, not too dark, but a little bit darker for the back of my lace. And then I take the residuals that's still on the brush and then I'll, I'll rub it on the front of the lace where the hairline is so it won't be as dark as it is in the back. Hope that makes sense. And so um, this lace is transparent. This frontal that came with these bundles was amazing. I, I love this frontal like i did not have to pluck it it was perfect when i perfect so perfect um i think i like transparent lace um now to install my wigs instead of having brown lace i feel like i like to tint the color back because sometimes when you have brown lace the brown lace it depends on the quality it could be like ashy looking and so you want to be definitely careful with that so I definitely um, appreciate um, them sending me transparent lace with this and I'm pretty sure you can request transparent lace when you place your orders as well all right so I'm being ghetto and I did not clean my hairline I'm just letting you guys know that now because from what I'm understanding is that uh alcohol is not needed for the adherence of this okay so and this is a daily usage product so um at the end of the day it's supposed to come off easily anyway so i just wanted to try to see if it was if i needed to clean my hairline with alcohol like i have to do with glue and you really don't so um i'm just like y'all know alcohol is not needed for this um, particular product I laid the product down on my finger and I blend I blended it out on my hairline thinly okay you do not want this thick first of all it's not gonna get thick because it is a runny product okay you see that you see that hairline from Ali Julia oh my god all right um, it is not a, a it's not a thick product. It's a runny product. So if you try to build this up, it's probably going to start dripping on you, and you just need to be careful. So a little bit does go a long way. And I do have my blow dryer on warm, and then I turn it to cool, then warm. Because when I turn it on to cool, I can feel which areas is still wet, and then I'll turn it back on to warm. And so I'm doing this in sections because this is a runny product, and I don't want to just hurry up and like lay the glue, lay the lace down, and my lace shift back and goes behind my hairline. That's what you don't want. Um, so I'm being generous with how much I'm using, but I'm, 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 I'm flattening it out I'm thinning it out because I do not want it to seep through my lace and because this is a water-based product you can go in with water and just do some cleanup if you come into a problem so I'm going to take my lace and I'm going to pull it in front of my hairline just to make sure that the that the this liquid gold is covered look at this lace though oh my god I think I feel like Ali Julia had I'm um, Ali Julia Julia hair has one of the best frontals I've always worked with like I've never had issues with their frontals their frontals always look so good and for this to be not plucked yet like for me to not have to go in and pluck some more is amazing so yeah so I'm doing that and it feels super tight on me. It feels like I'm using blow hold. And I'm like, okay, mind you, the application was super quick because it dries super fast. All right. And my hair is looking super good. Look at that silkiness, Psst, girl. Anyway, um, and it dries super fast. I literally did this in five minutes when it would take me way longer to put my wig on. All right. So I was ecstatic when it came to this application. So I'm going to go in and I am going to cut off the excessive lace so we can like lay this wig right the right way. Okay.
Y'all know I like to uh, uh, create a widow's peak in my little frontals because it just m mimics my natural hair because I naturally have a widow's peak. So I like to, you know, do once every now and then. It just makes my hairline look a little natural. So I have three bundles of Ali Julius. I think this was straight hair. Uh, yeah, I think this was straight here. I'm not sure. I'll put all the details down in the below in the description box. Okay, so the areas that was still sticking up, I got a little a makeup brush that I'm gonna just use for this purpose only. And I put some of the liquid gold on the back of my hand a little bit. You only need a little bit. And I did like the areas that was still sticking up. And I just used my blow dryer to blow dry it down. And <laughs> voila, she looking so good already. And we're still not fully blended in yet. And it's a great hold, as you can see. Like, I was so happy. I was like, she really came out with this bombness. And look, I'm just so happy with this install. Look at the hairline. It's like you got you have to have a bomb wig with a bomb bomb product to put on there, and then you have these results. And so I'm using some of the liquid gold to like slick down my baby hairs, and it looks so natural. Like it's not like you know the overly done baby hairs like I'll be doing. It's just like some little wispies, and it's and it's looking real cute. Okay, but I definitely recommend Allie, Allie Julia's frontals because look at that. Ugh. I'm just I'm so amazed y'all so amazed I never had 30 inch hair like I was like oh I'm a baddie <laughs> so after I um finish you know messing with my baby hairs I am gonna go in with my elastic band and my got to be free spray and I just spray my hairline a little bit um, just to help secure it a little bit more um, and then I'm gonna wrap my hairline down with the uh, elastic band and these were my young results with the shiny Julia hair frontal like look at that look at this frontal look at this install this install is giving me natural vibes like um my hair is 30 inches and I just came from the shop to get from getting my hair silked pressed this is my natural hair like that's the vibes that it's giving me look at it and it's so sleek <sighs> y'all gotta try this hair but that's the hairline and this is what it looks like I didn't get a lot of good pictures of me like full body but it's whatever um it goes down past my butt actually All right, best friends, I came back because I wanted to show you guys what my lace looks like after a day and a half of me wearing, I look crazy, <laughs> a day and a half of me wearing the Bold Hold Liquid Go. Okay, so um, I did sleep in my wig. Um, I wrapped my lace down and then I put a bonnet on just to preserve my long, luscious, 30 inch hair from Julius hair so if you're interested in this silkiness girl go get that this is my lace from my install as you can see there is makeup on there but it is lifting now so I am going to remove this this is only a temporary hold they market this as the day wear I am getting some lifting let me take off my glasses but like if I wanted to keep this on I all I would do is spot treatment and put that back down um, lifting on the side as well and some like light lifting around my hairline 
like a little bit like that but other than that like my lace is still down it's still secure it's still intact I would just have to do a little bit of spot treatment but I am going to remove this wig because I do have to change wigs today so I do have a wet towel you're supposed to be able to remove this with water so we're just going to try that so I do have a wet towel go ahead and remove it that way And we're gonna see what happened. So it's wet and it's coming up. <laughs> oh, I love it. So I'm just gonna wet it. Girl, I could probably keep my stocking cap on. Hold on. Hold on. Go try this. This is a bomb hair glue. Do you want some silkiness in your wigs? Some inches? You know, I always work with Julia hair. Go try them as well. I have not had a bad experience as of yet. And I'm keeping my stocking cap on because I am happy. Because I'm about to reinstall a different wig. Let's get it. Bye, you guys.